Hello everyone and welcome to my video. Today I'm going to be trying out a St. Patrick's Day inspired nail and right now I'm just going to be doing my prepping, um, cleaning up my cuticles, my cuticle area and I don't really have a specific routine right now um, just because I'm kind of new at um, doing this so I'm just trying to see what works best for me when it comes to cleaning up my cuticles but uh, I usually go in with this um, I'm not even sure what the bit is called but I got it off of Amazon I believe and usually if I don't um, use a nail drill to clean up my cuticles, I usually just cut them with cuticle, with the cuticle scissors that you can get at the beauty stores. But yes, I'm trying this out to see if it works out better for me. Um, I think there was a little bit of a difference. It was a little more clean. It was an easier surface to work on. But yes, so... Today I'm going to be doing some St. Patrick's Day nails and I don't really have a lot to work with with it. I, I do, I did end up making a green acrylic color for these nails, but I did not have like a specific, the specific green that I wanted. Um, I only, if you guys have checked out my most recent video, you'll see that I only found, I was only able to find um, a chunky glitter from Michael's that's gold and green. And other than that, I didn't really find anything that I could use on my nails. So right here I'm doing my sizing for my tips. I decided to go back and use the stiletto tips because I decided to do a stiletto nail stiletto nails today and yes I'm just making sure they're the right sizes and picking them all out but yes and if you have seen my latest video I did end up like um my boyfriend suggested to use earrings that were St. Patrick's Day or like Irish inspired earrings and just taking off the backs of the earrings and placing them as like gems so that's what I do end up doing in this video and right now I'm just looking through any kind of greens that I have to see if it fits what I want to do because I had a specific design in mind and I decided no it was too light I wanted a more like a more deeper green so I decided to get out my chalk and make a color and for this I pretty much used um, a little over half of the chalk that I had and then I put some white acrylic powder and then some clear acrylic powder to make my acrylic and now I'm showing you guys some other well I basically everything that I have that I feel like is like green that'll look nice any glitters that I have and also, I did mention, oh yes, I'm just watching these colors to see which one I liked because I wasn't, like I knew what I wanted to do, but I wasn't sure if I was going to want to use any of the glitter greens that I had made already. But I decided on just the dark green that I just made right now. But yes, um, I did... I did forget to say that um, if you do want to make nail videos and you want to like an easy way to take your nails off, you can use like, I'm not sure what most people use, but I used um, a nail foil glue that does not cure in the UV light and that works pretty well. It comes off in about four days, four to five days, depending on how good you take care of your nails. And they just pop right off really easily. 
So I was really happy with that. That's what I used for my Valentine's nails. And that's what I did with these nails as well. And as you guys can see, I was kind of struggling with my my middle finger. Because, um, yeah, it was just a mess. So I decided to move on to my ring finger. And I did a layer of the green that I just made. I put on top some fine uh, green glitter and then I decided to use this golden holographic glitter that I got in I believe I showed you guys in one of my hauls but I decided to use it on top and then after that I went over again with the green and gold glitter that I got from Michaels and yes I'm just trying to make sure it's placed evenly And then I'm going to encapsulate it. And I did have a little bit of trouble doing this just because I've never done stiletto nails. So my shaping was not the best. But I think that's just going to give me more reason to practice this because I feel like I should, I should get it down a lot better than what this came out. But yes, so... I believe the next nail I decide to work on is my middle finger. So I decided to do like um, the green, white, and then I did the next, well I did the green, then I did a layer, a little strip of white with my acrylic, and then after that I like went in with gold again. And yeah, it was, I haven't really done the what i think it's called color blocking nails in a while but i'm not the best at it but just trying to practice a little and then one thing i did notice was i should not have made my colored acrylic before um before i well actually i shouldn't have did i shouldn't have put my nail tips before I made my color acrylics because everything was just stained green. I'm not sure if you guys seen that. But yeah, next time I'm going to make it before I do anything. But yeah, so my pointer finger is just going to be all green. And this one I decided to do like an accent nail and add some gems and the earrings <laughs> that I got from Michaels and I believe I'll show you guys soon what I decide to put on top and yes yeah, so I'm just trying to make my nail as even as possible make sure it's thick enough but not too thick you know it's kind of confusing because again it's a little the shaping is a little different when it's stiletto so I was really confused trying to figure it out and I'm moving on. I believe I'm moving on to my. But yeah, so if you guys have any comments, any questions, any suggestions, please let me know. I do have a couple of stuff that I have in mind to do. I'm also waiting on a couple of packages for um, some nail decorations for St. Patrick's Day specifically so hopefully those come in soon but I wanted to do at least something little for now so that's why I went around looking at like almost every store around my area to see what they had for St. Patrick's Day but yes yeah, so hopefully it comes in before St. Patrick's Day and I'll have a lot more videos for you guys and I'm also trying, I'm also going to be trying a weird kind of cool nail video that should be posted within the next week, I believe. And I do have so much orders that I have, so hopefully they all come in soon. And yeah, so now I'm working on my pinky. And again, I just decided to go all green with that one. 
And I believe this was the accent nail also. So yes, I'm just layering it, trying to make sure it's even. And I was kind of having some trouble with this acrylic. I'm not sure if I was just doing it wrong. Sometimes I overthink it or like I'm like, I was like, I also was in a rush when I was doing this. So I had a lot of stuff to do that day. But here I am. I decided to go in with some foils that I don't really use foils because they never fully stay. And I realized um, right now, you guys will see, I tried to encapsulate it and it. But yes, it rubbed off. So I went over it again. I did the foil. And this time I decided to put like a little top coat over it just to see if that would help it not just completely come off. And it did help a lot. But yeah. I'm not sure. Like when I do foils, it's usually like, like a hit or miss. Sometimes it will be completely all on with no issues and then as you guys can see here it was kind of like splotchy like not all of it was on I had to keep pressing on to try to find to try to make sure it was even and even then it wasn't even so I added some more of that gold holographic glitter but yes yeah, so now I'm encapsulating my nail and I believe this was after I did some filing and I'm showing you guys what I was thinking of using on my nails. So I found these gold roses, some the red, white, and green hearts are from the earrings. The Irish is from the earrings too also. And then I decided to use those giant gems that I got that I showed you guys. Um, on my previous haul video but yes right now I'm just putting a top coat on top of these nails that I'm not putting anything on yet so and now I'm just trying to see which color I like better because one was more like a purple green and the other was just a true green gem and yes I decided to use this one the completely green one and I'm going in with some acrylic to like glue my gems on. And I wasn't completely sure how I wanted everything to look. So I was still trying to figure out where I wanted to place everything. But I really, really, really loved how this nail turned out. I loved all the little gems on it. It just looked so cute. But yes, I'm glad my boyfriend thought of, came up with the idea to use the earrings and take off like the little backs of them because I would have never thought of that on my own. But yes, so also I know my page is mostly a nail channel but I am thinking of including some clothing hauls too just because I order a lot of clothing so if you are into that please let me know comment let me know if you would like that if you wouldn't like it and yes here I'm putting the Irish on my pinky I really loved how that looked I think that's so cute but um Yes, let me know what you guys like to see, anything specific, any requests, but I am almost done with these nails. Now I'm just putting a top coat. They weren't the best when it comes to shaping, but you know, hopefully I get some more practice and I get better at it. So thank you to anyone and everyone who has watched and subscribed. I am so blessed to have just even one person watching or liking or commenting or subscribing to me. It is truly a blessing. So thank you guys. Bye.